Hello, I'm Alia, and today I will be showing everyone how I do my nails at home. So, I just removed my old nail polish. I usually like to use regular nail polish just so it's easier to take off. Um, and nail polish is really good these days, so without further ado, let's get started. I use nail polish remover, mostly to correct any mistakes that I might have. Cotton pads in case I need to wipe anything off. Q-tips, same thing. I'm doing my nails purple. That's my cousin's wedding, and those are the colors that she likes. Green Active Glow, Nail Care Glow Effect from Manicurist Paris. I really like their products. I used this for the first time a few weeks ago, and my polish lasted over two weeks, so fan of this line. I will be using the top coat from Rooted Woman today. It's a green line. Excuse me, ultra fast dry drops. Let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is apply the green active glow to my nails. So this is a base coat that has a little bit of a pink tint to it, which is very nice for making your nails look very healthy. This line is also 10 free and it has vitamins and minerals for your nails to keep them healthy. So it's a treatment and a base coat in one. Woo. So natural, but very healthy looking. And the left hand is done. Usually when I'm doing this, I avoid doing my thumbs because I use my thumbs to clean up a lot. I used to have a manicurist brush to clean up a uh, nail polish, but I haven't been able to find it in a while, so I usually just use my thumbs and Q-tips instead of like an actual acetone brush to wipe stuff off with. The acetone brush works better than anything. I highly recommend getting one if like you have cellies nearby and feel like it. Otherwise, this works totally fine, and I figure this is what most people have on hand anyway. And I like to let the active glow, the base coat, dry a little bit before going in with the top coat. I find it just works a little better for me that way. And we probably will be using this again in a little bit. I have this Essie gel polish here. The color is 186 Paisley all the way. It's a pretty little eggplant type color. Let's get started. So we already got a little bit here. When that happens, I like to take a little bit of polish remover, dump it in there, take a Q-tip, dunk it in there, and then before it fully dries, just remove it. This, it's easiest to clean it up with the thumb. And now we can use a little Q-tip. That's why I didn't do a base coat on this thumb yet. Because I knew that this might happen. So see? Some polish in there. We can clean this off here. This off there. And voila! We are good again done those four. So now we're going to do the four on the other side before doing the thumbs. So, yeah. Okay, this is why it's good to do this with a little bit more space so that you're not just uh, accidentally bumping stuff all over the place like I just did. All right. Now I take this and the polish. Get it off of there. Okay. Scraping that off with my nail. I think we're good on that one. Coat number two for this nail. I used to use acetone free nail polish remover, but I find that the acetone stuff just works so much better that I just end up doing that anyway. The right thumb. And we're just gonna let that dry for a little bit. I 
and are a little bit too much of the base coat on the side, so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Looking pretty decent. And I will do coat number two. Luckily my thumbs are bigger, so I can usually just kind of like paint the middle and the SE gel brushes are pretty good for this too. We're going to do one more coat on this thumb and then we're done, but we're going to let it dry a little bit. So I like to just kind of do this with my hands. I will say if you are doing this with like oh, butterfly. manicurist polish, like this brand, their actual nail polish, kind of make the polish bulge. Um, so this is fine with like the Essie polishes, but the manicures polish or anything quick dry, like use a fan or something like that. But for the Essie gel couture in uh, Paisley, this is completely fine. So that's probably dry enough for a second coat now. are done with the color portion of the evening. So we have used these two. I no longer need them. Darker colors, I find using a clear top coat with them, in this case, Rooted Woman Covered, do it too soon, then the polish like will stain the top coat. So sometimes I will even let this sit for a day, especially if I'm in a hurry or something, just use the quick dry drops, which do help to like quickly dry the polish. And I'll even do like the top coat the next day or something. Today, I probably just am gonna wait like, it honestly does take like five to 10 minutes. So if you like to meditate or wanna wash something really quick online, that usually will help out. Also like for this nail, I put a little bit too much at the top. So it's kind of like bulging there just since I have my nails like this. If that happens, I just like to put my hands straight up like this like prayer hand motion kind of thing and gravity will actually bring it down enough that it just like hardens evenly on the nail and won't create a bulge on the top so that's another suggestion that i have i'm gonna wait five ten minutes and then put the top coat on and then the quick dry drops and then we will be good see you soon it has been like five minutes and i think we are ready to do the top coat. This is covered by Rooted Woman. On this hand. Now we're going around two. Second hand. I learned this in drawing class. If you keep your wrist stable versus moving your wrist around to move the brush, you'll get a much like smoother line. So if you're looking for like really clean lines, moving your wrist or moving your whole arm as opposed to moving your wrist. So like doing this versus doing this will give you cleaner lines. And the last nail. The last nail. We're good on that. I'm gonna put this back in the bottle now. We only ended up using one Q-tip. That's pretty good. We're gonna use some of these quick dry drops. I like to put them at the base of my cuticle, so like this. You really need one per nail, but I do two just for good measure. I usually have to wipe some off, but really like, that's fine. Just, that's like the right way to do it. Maybe I'll just do it the right way for, since I'm doing a video about it. Put it up. These have oil in them. I actually don't even know how they work, but, uh, I just know that when I use them, my nails do dry like way faster and they also don't look like as bad. And I like using these with natural nail polishes, five to 10 free, a lot more than using like a quick dry polish. The manicurist 
for rooted woman, I feel like my nails last a lot longer. And it doesn't really matter what polish I use. Like the Essie Gel Couture one does last a really long time. The Manicurist one also lasts a really long time. Not even their gel version, just like their regular polish. I feel like the Rooted Woman top and base coat and then also like the Manicurist top and base coat, either one of those, just makes my nail polish last so much longer. See, you know this nail's looking wrinkly. Why are you being wrinkly now? Sometimes this happens. The wrinkly has happened to me if like I got too much polish on a nail. See? But now it's all fine, like there's no more wrinkly. It looks really good and like when it dries, it'll look fine too. So yeah, modern nail technology. So that's the end of the manicure. I'll probably be sporting this for the weddings in two days, but honestly the next like few weeks, um, when I do a manicure like this, it lasts like a solid two weeks. That's why I really only get my nails done like once every month or two or like three months realistically. Because I like going in and getting them professionally done for like the cuticle removal because you're not supposed to remove your cuticles too often. You can tell from watching me do it. I'm not even like that incredibly skilled at it or anything. It's literally just, you know, this method is something I've come up with over a very long period of time and it just really works for me. So hopefully this will help someone else out there. Love you guys for being here. I'm proud of you for trying new things and I will see you soon. are weak old nails. And they still look like this. You can tell that there's a little bit of growth, like my nails have grown out a little. I find with dark polishes especially, like the edges will wear off. And I also work out, do yoga, do laundry, do dishes. I type all day, I'm a software engineer, and I'm just like clicking and clacking, cat piano keyboarding, you know, constantly. Yeah, just wanted to show how well this actually lasts using the method that I have in the video. This is what they look like after two weeks and a couple days. You can see on the bottom, like some of them started to chip. So I'm going to cut them and redo them. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for being here.